What's up? How are you guys this Thursday? Still on the bread and beef diet, aka the steak sandwich diet, and yet another week as the only nutrition YouTuber with a full head of hair. Not, not to say that other people don't know what they're talking about, but the bar is set fairly low as far as I'm concerned. So let me show you guys what we're having today. So we have a ribeye steak here because you guys ate all of the roast beef on Frankie's syringe meat, making me cook and do more work. This was just sauteed in a green pan, which is pretty good. Uh, reasonable compromise on the non-stick. We have some uh, shiitake mushrooms over here that were sauteed in some garlic oil. These are good for like a day or two on the counter. I really enjoy them on the sandwich, mainly for the flavor, but they are also one of the highest mineral foods you can include in your diet, specifically organic shiitake mushrooms. Uh, we have some lemons here. Sometimes I'll have some lemon juice in the morning in my water, uh, but these were actually in this mayonnaise. And we did the egg white mayonnaise a week and a half ago, but this is actually mayonnaise made with white beans as an emulsifier. So it's just white beans, a lot of coconut oil, some mustard, tiny bit of that lemon juice, salt, as well as a small amount of sugar. Pretty delicious, pretty good. Over here we have the white beans here that were used in the mayonnaise. And this is the oil. Now, yes, this is like bleach, deodorized, and refined, but uh, until Frankie Boy gets his own farm and can feed the animals what they're supposed to eat and make very specific and special products, this is what we have for now. So here we just have a baguette from the French bakery. And uh, to put it simply, guys, I just look for whatever organic bread tastes the best. So I might go to another bakery soon that's nearby and maybe eventually start making it myself. But this is what we're doing for now. So it's going to be a, a steak and mushroom sandwich with mayonnaise. That's going to be the bulk of the meal. And then later, uh, maybe we'll have an apple. Uh, these are organic Fuji apples. We'll talk about that later. And possibly uh, one of my cookies. Uh, if you guys missed the recipe video, I don't know how long ago it was now, maybe two years ago. Uh, Hitomi's Vegan Cookies, that's the recipe that we have for this. Oh, can't forget the water kefir. I've been uh, testing out the new flavors over the past few days, guys. We got apple, ginger, banana, pineapple. Really, really delicious. Trying to keep the quality as high as possible. I accidentally threw out my kefir grains or my parents threw them out. I don't know what happened. Uh, so we only have the water kefir with the meal for now. but. Normally I have the grains as well. Now I don't buy this bread every day. So I throw it in the freezer and then the next day I'll, I'll pour a little bit of water on it and put it in the oven to just kind of steam it and warm it up. And sometimes I'll even, you know, take uh, the bread after I make the sandwich and I'll do like a panini. I'll press it into either, you know, the pan I cooked my steak in or the pan I cooked my mushrooms in to get either like more beef or mushroom flavor. Press it down into that just like sear it for a few minutes on each side so the bread is nice and toasted. But today we're just gonna have the, the plain bread. Now I'm not gonna put like a crazy amount of meat on the sandwich because I'm going to bed soon and I don't want like a pound of meat in my stomach. So I'm putting about, you know, eight ounces, half a pound of steak. And we'll just take our mayonnaise and put it on the top of the bread. I was honestly surprised when I found out about you know, the white beans uh, able to emulsify for the mayonnaise. This mayo, it's like, it's really tasty, fresh, lemony, very bright, not like typical mayonnaise. So even though I bought this bread fresh this morning, you know, after it sits on the counter all day, it does get a little hard. So I should have just thrown this in the oven for a few minutes. It would have been easier to eat. So the uh, carbonation on this was basically perfect, like high enough that <laughs> it's uh, tasty, but um, not too high that it just explodes all over the place. Okay, so this is what my diet has looked like for, man, the past few months now. I've been pretty consistent with this. Uh, you know, I know you guys saw in the past, like I'd have rice and beans and steak, or I'd have pasta. This has been what the latest one is that I've been enjoying. I've been sleeping pretty good on it. I will say uh, this water kefir is very potent, so uh, I'm actually diluting it with uh, a little less than half water. So I would say, you know, 45 to 50 percent, uh, I'll do water uh, just to kind of stay really hydrated as 
Um, this water kefir probiotic is at least twice as strong as anything else. And you know, there are a few brands that you can get in supermarkets, but it's just dead bacteria. It's not an active live probiotic. Um, that's why it can be kind of hard to sell this stuff sometimes. So every one of these components of the sandwich tastes delicious on its own. The steak, the mushrooms, the bread, the quality and the ingredients and the execution on how they're made are so high that I could take a bite of steak, have a bite of mushrooms and have a bite of bread without actually making it into a sandwich. So for the bread we have, uh, as we've spoken about in past day of eating videos, the starch, the bulk, feeding the gut bacteria, having something for all those toxins from the liver to come out and soak into. The steak, you know, you guys know very well the nutrient density of animal foods. I won't go too much into that. And we spoke about the mineral content of the mushrooms earlier. Uh, most importantly, these are all foods that are very, very um, minimally inflammatory. And really, you could eat this regardless of your current state of health, especially considering um, the water kefir. The main concern here, I guess, would be, you know, what type of water did the bakery use in the bread? And how bad is that, you know, deodorizing and bleaching process used on the coconut oil? Outside of that, we're pretty good. So I told you guys on Tuesday, the new water kefir doesn't have molasses in it. It's just organic dried fruit and organic sugar. And after it ferments, there's no actual sugar in this. But it's, it's a little lower in iron. Um... And it still has a lot of minerals and vitamins and nutrients and probiotics. So uh, you guys should definitely try out the new uh, water kefir we have available. So you guys know the drill. About halfway through the meal, we take our masticum. Uh, so this is the top of a spice grinder that I use to pulverize the masticum pebbles, which is available on organsupplements.com. And I do just about a teaspoon, but you start with a little less than that to make sure you don't overdo it. And uh, you can know if your water keeper is made properly by how you feel after drinking it. So there is an alcohol content. You might get a little drunk, but you should get like a warm, fuzzy feeling and basically feel happy. Otherwise, then you have to kind of alter something in the fermentation period. It definitely shouldn't be sweet. Uh, it will be carbonated if you seal the container and leave it for a period of time. But it can be kind of tricky. Uh, you guys can check out the several videos I made on water keeper um, if you want to get the details on that. So here you have my Fuji apple and out of all the ones I've tasted at the supermarket, uh, I like these the best, the juiciness, the sweetness, the acidity. If you guys want a long-winded explanation of why you should be eating apples, uh, we did a video like a month or two ago before all the uh, nonsense happened with my business. And depending on how much sugar you eat and the size of the meal, you might want to take even a little more masticum to help digest it. Um, I said earlier I misplaced my kefir grains somewhere. Um, those also help a lot. So you want to have the water kefir as well as having like a teaspoon or a tablespoon of grains with the meal to ensure that you have a healthy probiotic profile to help absorb all the starch and sugar. So I've been on this diet for a year and a half, two years now, and I've been feeling a lot better. Uh, and I'm not like one of those other influencers that'll just follow a diet for six months and then act like an expert on it. So, you know, I want to be on this a little longer, closer to three years before I start really like having a book on it and explaining things in further detail. I'm still learning a little bit, not as much as initially following the diet where I was testing around and tinkering with stuff. So, you know, it's kind of tapered off a bit. And I'm very confident in the approach and I'm still pretty cool with, with telling you guys what I'm doing and explaining why. But like the whole summary of it, the book, everything, that'll come together hopefully in a few years from now. Um, feeling better noticeably from the sun. So it's, we're getting towards the end of summer now in New York. So I'm looking at building some type of UVB lamp. And I wanted to ask you guys, uh, maybe an electrician or someone who's done this, if you take like tanning bulbs, you put them on a ballast, you build some type of tanning contraption, is the wiring from all of those bulbs going to be like more electricity than 120? Like are you gonna need a 220 line or a three phase line to have that many bulbs or would you just have to like wire the bulb so that you have several different power sources? I guess I'll just get an electrician to hook it up but the point is um, maybe we'll have some sort of UVB bulb contraption for you guys in the, in the future. 
Uh, now yesterday I actually only had one meal in the morning and I was so tired at night that I didn't even want to eat. I just went to bed and I slept pretty well. I didn't uh, take any charcoal capsules, which I usually do before I sleep. And the reason you want to take charcoal when you eat a meal before bed is because when you're lying down, your gut motility is greatly reduced. So anything toxic or negative coming out of your liver is going to kind of sit there until you sit up. And I figured this out because I would always get headaches like after I ate a huge meal and just laid down. But then as I like stood up and drank some water, the headache would go away within minutes. So it's, it's very important um, that if you're going to lay down after a big meal to, to have something to kind of alleviate that. I mean, ideally, yeah, ideally you don't go to bed immediately and you wait two or three hours, but um, it, it depends on how your schedule is and how severe your health problems are if you're going to have that issue. So I'm just going to take two charcoal capsules just to be safe. Water kefir, very delicious, very delicious. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you've uh, learned a little bit more and maybe have some things you can incorporate into your own diet and lifestyle. Uh, one more thing I did want to say is I see a lot of comments from my viewers saying, oh, Frank, I wish I could eat bread. Frank, I wish I could do this. I wish I could eat that. So, some people were even saying on my son video, um, on Wednesday, like that you can't get enough food from the sun. People are saying, oh, I'm allergic to the sun. I can't get any, I get such bad reactions. If your health is at that point, you guys really need to uh, watch my video on like the minimally inflammatory diet, get an idea of why I'm doing this and start some type of routine similar to what I'm eating because your health is just going to get worse and worse and worse until you're able to, you know, have these carbohydrates, drink the water kefir, just have a, have a base, plain diet, be able to tolerate pretty much anything. I went to a restaurant last week, and I mean, I ate way too much more than I should have, and I had like a bottle of wine, and I was perfectly fine. At this point, my gut has healed to the point where I don't necessarily need water kefir with every meal. I don't necessarily need masticum with every meal. Uh, so um, this has worked for me uh, after all the health issues I had from needing to follow the carnivore diet to it getting worse. But uh, uh, this video is already pretty long, so I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me. You can go to frankiesrangemeat.com to get all high-quality animal products, frankiesrangefoods.com. We have the water kefir, uh, the new banana rice crisp bars, which are, are very, very delicious and the healthiest bars on the market. Organ supplements, hopefully we'll have um, the charcoal soon and some other products, but we do have the masticum available. Wi-Fi shielding, I'm wearing... Wi-Fi shielding shirt. Always, guys, we have the new products back in stock and the restock on the uh, t-shirts and underwear. Frankie's Naturals. Got my deodorant on, but point is, guys, go to frankiesdefano.com. Check out all my businesses. A lot of interesting stuff if you'd like to support me, and I can continue to provide you guys with high-quality products. Guys, I don't want to do this stuff. I want to be, I'd rather be on a beach with some Mexican girls. Granted, the cartel doesn't kidnap me. Um, but no one really, no one offers this stuff, guys. This stuff doesn't exist. No one has integrity. So I'm the best you guys got. Um, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe so that YouTube can subscribe to you next week. And I'll see you for the next video.